How are we doing there boys and girls? Banthus here and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to take a little bit of a look at leatherworking. Uh, leatherworking is a personal favourite of mine. I've had it on my main character for many years at this point. And as we step into Dragonfly, it actually looks to be one of the quickest and cheapest, cheapest professions to level up. Since the skinning changes in, I think they were patch 9.2.7, the, the, the latter part of Shadowlands, since the skinning changes came into play allowing multiple people to tap the same beast when skinning it, it really pushed the price of leather materials down very aggressively and I do not suspect there will be much difference to this in Dragonflight. 2x4 skinning farms will definitely be a thing and the leather will be remarkably cheap pretty quickly. It's going to make leather working quite a cheap one if you are looking to get into the gear crafting markets. You can see on screen here we have a rough guesstimate of the materials. I've tested this leveling path a few times on the beta. Uh, for reference, I'm recording this on the Wednesday before the launch of Dragonflight, just simply so that I can leave this as late as possible to hopefully make sure by the time the game goes live, the data and the information in it is as accurate as possible. We know what Blizzard is like. They usually do make subtle changes from time to time, though. So make sure you maybe jump into the Discord and uh, or leave some comments down below, especially if you spot anything out of the ordinary. All of this information and more though is going to be available in my Dragonflight goal making cheat sheet. I've been able to put together some little shopping lists for all of the professions and a written version of the guides to follow through to make it a simple step by step process for you. Uh, not just for leatherworking but also for any of the other professions in Dragonflight. This is just one aspect of the goal making cheat sheet. There's plenty more bonuses and goodies out there especially if you're looking to get into crafting in Dragonflight. If you happen to be a YouTube member, a Patreon of mine, or a Twitch subscriber, you'll find a link to the cheat sheet over in the Discord. I thank you for me for your continued support. Now, let's get on to it though. Uh, materials wise, you can see, not too many. 100 resilient leather, just under 250 adamant scales, only 2 of the dense hides, and 22 of the lustrous scales. This is very scale heavy. This is because I decided to go the route of crafting the male armor specifically. Um, this was just a personal preference and to be honest a bit of a flip of the coin. You could basically turn this guide upside down on its head and instead of using scales use leather and instead of using hide use uh, sorry instead of using lustrous scaled hide use dense hide instead um, just depends really on whether you want to go the male armor route or the leather armor route my suspicion is though is that the scale will be even cheaper than the regular leather simply on the basis that the starting zone in Dragonflight is uh, a skinner's, skinner's haven for crap for skinning and getting all of the scales off the early dragons. But anyway, let's get on to the actual leveling process for this. Uh, we're going to start off by crafting us, ourselves two sets of the Trailblazer scale braces. Uh, most things are going to give us three guaranteed skill points as we level up leatherworking. So the process of actually leveling it is really quite quick and simple. Um, we're not going to have to craft too much. Any spare bits of gear we can obviously look to throw up on the auction house. In the early days, even the basic leveling gear will get snapped up as everybody is coming from an old expansion and everybody's looking to upgrade their gear, which is always good for us crafters. Uh, from seven skill points on, we're going to craft a set of the boots. These are going to give three guaranteed skill points again. Just ever so quickly in relation to the actual quality of the materials, you'll notice I'm using only quality one materials, and this is entirely by choice. Uh, there's no real benefit just yet of using better quality materials. Save your better quality materials and save your gold for those when you've skilled up a little bit already and you're actually able to craft some of this kit at a higher quality. You'll notice for now, with such little skill behind us, we're only able to craft things at sort of quality 2. We'll start being able to craft a few things at quality 3 before too long. Uh, but considering quality on gear goes all the way up to quality 5, save your expensive materials. Just use the basic stuff whilst leveling up. So we've hit 10 skill points. We're going to craft up two sets uh, or two pieces of the scale vest. Uh, we might need to learn the recipe first before it will allow us to do that. Two of those should take us to skill 16. Beautiful. 
two durable packs is next on our list. Crafting two of these is going to use uh, the only dense hide that we require for this guide. This is actually a profession accessory, not necessarily one that we're going to utilize, but if you happen to have a skinner as an alt, uh, you can remember to send one of these to a skinner and they'll be uh, able to, the 50 finesse is going to give them some bonuses when they're out skinning. Grab some more recipes. We're going to switch from the durable packs to a single toughened chain belt. This is going to push us to skill 25. Now, 25 is a milestone for us. It's quite a big milestone because it unlocks the specializations for us. My recommendation for most people is maybe have a little bit of a look at the spec trees, but don't be too hasty spending your points or unlocking anything. As a leather worker, through leveling via trainer recipes, we're only going to get to sort of 50-55 skill points. We're not going to be able to unlock everything straight away. What this usually means is that you're going to have to make a choice. Once we've finished leveling the profession up a little bit, you're going to have to pick one, maybe two of the specializations and forego the third and the fourth one until you've skilled up that little bit further. So maybe have a little bit of a read through this. Uh, maybe look up some guides and see which sort of direction you might want to uh, become specialized in, whether you choose like leather or male, or there are some other alternatives, of course, for all of the different professions. But, you know, have a little bit of a look, but don't be too hasty. There's no undo button, so you can't reset uh, any of your points. So just be cautious before spending them. But let's learn these recipes. A real interesting thing for leather working, I know I'm going slightly off topic here, but the intermediate reagents, there's a bunch of these that we're going to be able to craft, and I really do suspect there'll be a nice little market for people to become uh, just really, really good at crafting these. These intermediate materials go into making a lot of the end game recipes, and they're seemingly going to be quite expensive. Uh, on top of the fact that they're going to be really quite difficult to craft at top quality. If you, as a leather worker, instead of looking at crafting gear, if you want a slightly more casual approach to leather working, uh, maybe look at crafting these in a in a you know in a more sufficient fashion. Maybe push the quality on these. You'll be able to sell loads of these, ironically, to other leather workers who maybe are pushing for that top quality gear crafts. Just a thought. Just a thought. Anyway, from skill 25, let's move on with the leveling. From skill 25, we're going to craft two toughened grips. Most of what we are going to craft is going to be gear through this. We do touch on profession equipment a little bit, but not too frequently. Uh, that's put us to skill 31. Now we can make two pairs of the protector's gloves. Next, we're going to make just a single alchemist's hat. This is one of the only recipes at this point that's going to guarantee skill points. You may notice the bow is another alternative, but the bow is going to use uh, some other profesh. Uh, Ruined Reithbark comes from inscription for reference, which means that it could be a little bit more pricey, which is why we're sticking to the cheaper option. I'm trying to offer a leveling guide that is going to be cost effective for people to do. Um, you can always then, once you've uh, crafted a bunch of stuff, look to sell it and recuperate as much of the gold as possible. Nobody likes spending tens or hundreds of thousands of gold leveling their professions at the beginning, so cheaper is better, at least in my opinion. From skill 40, we're going to look at crafting two pairs of the toughened spikes. Up to 43, up to 46. Not too many recipes or patterns to go. Two pairs of legs. And finally, a single toughened coif. Now, from this point on, we've hit skill 56, and we've now run out of both trainer recipes, and we've also run out of things that are going to guarantee us skill points. This is where you probably have one of three different directions you could look to go in. You could either start looking at uh, acquiring some more specialization points and start working through the spec trees 
Uh, if you do choose either leather or male armor crafting, you'll quite quickly start unlocking some of the end game recipes. It's these end game recipes that from here on out are going to give you the skill points. If you go into your filters and show all of the recipes that you don't own yet, you can see that it's this end game crafted gear that's going to give you your skill points. And this is what you're going to need to craft a bunch of to get past this sort of late 50s, early 60s point. Uh, all of these are bind on pickup though, so get uh, get accustomed with the work order system. You are going to have to scour the work order system for jobs for people that you know want crafted items that you can make for them. And as long as you've got the recipe, then you've got a good chance of getting your skill points. Um, recipe wise, either through the spec trees, maybe head out into the open world. Become acquainted with one of the four major factions in Dragonflight. The four major factions at certain points will offer you profession uh, recipes. You do have to tend to dive quite deep into this, so also get accustomed to doing all of the side quests and completing world quests and all the things that come with reputation. Or your third option is potentially take a little bit of a look at the auction house. There are going to be some patterns, especially things like some of the PvP gear, where you might be able to find the recipes listed up on the auction house. Now, of course, this is going to require some gold as a bit of an investment, um, but the choice is yours there. There are a few different ways to get yourself past this point and towards the magic 100 skill cap for the profession. But I'll leave it there for today, boys and girls. That was leatherworking. We've got ourselves past skill 50. We've unlocked two specialization trees. And now you're in the end game progression system for the profession. So if you liked that little video, please remember to give the video a like. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.